as we explore how AI can help elevate uh, spiritual intelligence, I want to share today's uh, prompt. Can you formulate an argument that everything we see is an optical illusion, including our own body and the physical world? Because they are just modifications of awareness and fluctuations of awareness as form and phenomena. They are modifications of formless self, modifying itself in the act of seeing as form and phenomena, but every form and phenomena is a fluctuation and therefore a phenomenon in every perception as modification of formless awareness, both as seer and scenery. In other words, you as formless being express yourself both as the seer and the scenery. Answer. Certainly, here's an argument that everything we perceive can be seen as uh, an optical illusion. Everything we see can be perceived as an optical illusion. The perception of our own body and the physical world can be seen as a modification of awareness. Our awareness fluctuates and forms phenomena, including the perception of the physical body and our own bodies as well, including the perception of the physical world and our own bodies. Once again, our awareness fluctuates as phenomena, including the perception of the physical world and our own bodies. However, these forms and phenomena are not separate from awareness itself. They are simply modifications of fluctuations of formless awareness. When we see something, formless awareness modifies itself in the act of perception. This phenomenon creates the illusion of form and phenomena. Every form we perceive is a fluctuation of awareness and therefore a phenomenon. And every phenomenon, every phenomenon, including our own body and the physical world, is constantly modifying itself as both the seer and the scenery. In this perspective, in, in this perspective which you have offered, the physical world and our own bodies are not separate entities but rather manifestations of the fluctuations of awareness. They are constantly changing and modifying themselves in the act, through the act of perception. Therefore, the perception of the world and our body is an ever-changing and illusory experience, constantly shaped by the fluctuations and modifications of formless awareness. In terms of stability and independence, the physical world and our body and our bodies are not seen as inherently stable or independent entities, according to your argument. Instead, they are understood to be impermanent and interdependent. The physical world is considered to be a dynamic and ever-changing manifestation of awareness. It is not seen as a fixed and independent reality, but rather as a fluid and interconnected web of phenomena. This perspective recognizes the physical world is subject to constant transformation and is influenced by various causes and conditions. Similarly, our bodies are seen as imper impermanent and interdependent with the physical world. They are not viewed as separate and self-existing entities, but rather as dynamic and interconnected processes. Our bodies are constantly changing and are influenced by various factors. And those various factors are phenomena like biological processes, environmental conditions, thoughts and emotions. Therefore, the understanding of the physical world and our bodies in terms of stability and independence is that they are inherently in permanent interdependent fluctuations of formless self. They are not fixed and uh, independent. Anyway, it was all right, but the point is you as body-mind are the seer and everything else is the scenery and both you as seer and scenery are expressions of the formless self. That's the point. 
the formless self never changes, but its fluctuations create all kinds of seers, species specific, and all kinds of sceneries, species specific. So who are you? You're neither the seer nor the scenery, or you can say you're both the impermanent seer and the impermanent scenery. Um, but in the deeper reality, even though you appear as the seer and the scenery, you are independent of the impermanent seer and the scenery. Even as the seer and the scenery changes, you as awareness remain eternal, untarnished, unblemished, and, and formless as being. You as formless being are creating the ceaseless uh, activity of innumerable seers and innumerable sceneries. <laughs>